Hello and welcome to this first lecture of this new section on trends and insight identification in this course on excellence in digital marketing. So in this uh, section, what we're going to do is to give you in-depth understanding of how to identify trends and insights to gain excellence in digital marketing. And in this, uh, there are two lectures. In the, this lecture, we will particularly talk about what kind of trends to identify, to give you an idea of what trends are, what kind of trends are these, and how to identify these trends for yourself, for your business, for your company that you work for. So, what kind of trends to identify? What are trends? So, trends are, some, are sustainable patterns that develop over a period of time. And trends are definitely to be distinguished with uh, fads. Fads are very temporary. They happen and then they will just fade away. Whereas, trends persist. And trends is what determines what will happen in future. So, these are persistent uh, pattern of things that will happen in the future. So, what kind of trends to identify is the question. Any thoughts? So these are some of the trends that you see an example here. And some of them may be right. Some of them may not, may not be right as you see here. They, on, uh, so like there are trends on purchase that uh, funnel has been blown to bits. Now I don't know right, whether I agree with that. CRM is dead. Another that's a tall claim and uh, trend. The rise of big data definitely is a trend that one can see that that is going to happen as more and more computing power, transferring power, storage power happens and people will use more of these uh, big data to make decisions. Rise of big data, con big content. Experience economy is another thing that is happening. <coughs> so like this, you need to identify certain underlying digital trends. More example of such trends are more AI, artificial intelligence which support the marketing effort. That seem to, I seem to agree with that trend. <coughs> AI, AI, artificial intelligence will be used in the next phase of influencer marketing. Maybe. Mobile first marketing, a focus on first party data over third party cookies. Aligning, PR relationship and SEO in content marketing strategies. Hybrid events that accommodate virtual and in-person attendees. That seems to be the way to go, actually. Virtual assistant is being more and more used. So some of these, these are some of the trends that you can see that have been identified by some people. Now, so how to identify such trends in digital marketing? And you must be convinced of those trends for to put your stakes on the business on those trends. So it would be good to examine all those such trends that float around and identify trends that are relevant for you. So how do you go about doing that? It's basically two kinds of research that you need to do. One is uh, the primary research and second is the secondary research. And uh, the primary research provides results specifically about your company. And the way you do is you do some focus groups, surveys, interviews. Uh, the cost of research is high because the primary research is specifically based for your company and requires same amount of data or time collection or money as if you were to pull many people together, many companies together. Second research involves applying the results of previously completed study in your situation. So you look at your situation and say, similar to this situation, what kind of studies have already been done? It's such research is either free on internet or it's very low cost. In the reserve, but results are not specific to your business. You'll have to be careful and in interpreting the results to your situation and even examine how much of that is valid for you. So let's look at how to conduct secondary research. Any thoughts? See, the secondary research, what you need to do is we have laid out a small process for you, a five-step process. Identify the topic of the research. What is the subject on which you want to to get the trends in for which you want to do the secondary research. Identify where should you go to because the sources are critical. They, you, there are multiple sources on internet and some of them may not be credible at all or they may not have an expert. In. So you need to establish the credibility of the sources and only to go to those sources that you can trust. Then you collect the existing data from those sources, combine and compare and analyze the data. So it's as simple as that. But the most important thing is to Identify the right research sources, you know, uh, and what could be the right research sources? It could be someone who has expertise, some company that has credibility in your mind, 
who has given these data that have turned out to be right. So like this, you need to establish, establish the credibility of sources. Let's look at how to conduct the primary research. Any thoughts on that? How to conduct the primary research? So the primary research, there are, uh, you need to identify in your industry, specifically in digital market industry, who are the players. So identify the key player and here you can very beneficially use the Michael Porter's uh, five forces uh, model in which he has identified these five forces as you see in your screen. The suppliers, uh, the buyers, the industry uh, competitors, the substitutes and possible entrants, the new entrants. So you need to identify these uh, key players in your digital marketing industry, not your industry, in digital marketing industry because what you want to determine is the trends in the digital marketing industry. If you want to determine trends in your industry that you're working, you can apply the same principle. But since we are talking about trends in digital marketing industry, you need to identify such players in this category. Once you have done that, the best way is to talk to them. And since we are talking about primary research, so you need to identify, as you see the first column, these forces, buyers, current competitors, and then you go across and see who are these. Say, let's we are talking to the buyers in digital marketing industry. So who is buying digital marketing services? What are they doing now? And what will they do in future in coming next three to four years? And whatever they do, that's the industry trend. And that's how... Uh, so that you need to figure out and we will talk to you about how to how to determine all this then What kind of opportunities does it provide and what kind of threats does it provide which you will use later on? So for the trend it is this third column in which what they're doing today or what they're likely to do in future and the, What is the way to talk to them is to basically talk to them and it would be great if you can talk to some of your important some of the important buyers in the digital market that say hook up a conversation online or offline or in person and hey sir i understand you are you are you are a leading you are a leading buyer and i understand i like to understand and you are a trend setter i'd like to understand meet and discuss and understand what is happening on the customer side now and what is likely to happen the way you will go forward in the next couple of years same same things you can look at the major players in digital market industry and understand what the, who are they, what are they doing and what will they be doing. Same about the suppliers, uh, same about the substitutes, the traditional marketing industry, what is happening there, what, where are they going. Similarly with society and government. So meet each of these forces, a cross section of these people, interview them in person or in, on online and figure out who they are. What are they doing now? What are their plans? Which direction do they want to go? Now, these will give you some insights into the trend from a primary research perspective. So having looked at how to determine the trends, what do we do next? In the next, we will look at the second important part of digital marketing uh, strategy that can form a strategy for your companies, the insights. What kind of insights to identify and how to identify those insights is the topic of next module. So thank you so much for watching this first lecture of Trends and Insight Identification. I hope you're beginning, continuing to learn something new, continuing to enjoy, and I do look forward to see you again in the next lecture.